Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Y once again. So in today's video, we are going to see the second part of our ongoing series, which is live CG integration. In this video, we are going to see how we can import our 3D asset inside Maya or how we can do setup of texturing and after that, how we can do some sort of lighting. Yes, today's session will be very interesting. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here in last video, we have done exporting and importing our 3D camera. So without wasting any time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import my mesh, which I have downloaded from bridge. Okay, so these are the assets. I have downloaded this, this and this. Probably if I need something, I'll download it again. So let's import our these assets inside Maya. So here I'm going to drag and drop my box mesh, which will be pretty large in size. As you can see over here. So I'm going to select it, hit R on keyboard and let's scale it down as per our requirement. Now I'm going in camera first. Yes, I can see it's pretty big although. So I'm going to scale it down little and I'm going to place it something like this. Probably this will work for me as you can see. So I'm pretty much happy with my placement of this object. And as you can see, it's coming down. So probably I'll hit W on keyboard and might be I can do something like this. Hit F to focus and let me fix it by going in any side view. And probably I'll just do this. Right after doing that, if I'm going to render it, probably it will come blank because we don't have light in the scene. So what I'm going to do, I'm going over here and I'm going to add some light. Probably I'll add some sky dome light. Why I'm taking sky dome light? Because I want to do my HDRI lighting, right? So in color of sky dome light, I'm going to select a file. I'm going to select one of my over clouded or overcast 4K texture for HDRI light because in this scene, I can easily say it's overcast sky or overcast lighting. So after doing that, if I'm going to render one more time perspective camera, let's see what we are getting. So I'm going to hit render and probably we'll see something. If not, then definitely we are going to add few more lights. So easily, as you can see, we are getting something camera shape one. So let me switch it off and let me adjust few things. So in filter type, I'm going to use a uh, probably box and over here, I'm going to select resolution. Uh, it's resolution is 4K. So I'm going to put 4096 uh, might be the actual resolution. And after doing that, what else we can do? We can add a few more lights, right? So I'm going in Arnold and in lights, probably I'll add some area light. So let's see one area light is here. So probably I'll go over here and I'm going to do look through selected and probably I want to do some sort of lighting from this side because in our actual scene, I can sense that light is from this side, right? So yes, I'm going again in my uh, render scene and camera shape one, probably I'll select. And if I'm going to see some weird thing is happening, so I'm going to stop it and let me figure it out what it is. Okay, now the problem has been resolved and if I'm going to uh, render it again, so you can see my camera is matching. So I'm not working on light currently because I need to add some textures as well. But one thing which is not acceptable that this gray, this thing is coming. It should be uh, capturing the shadow of my main element. So to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my this thing. Probably I'll select this and I'm going to hit right click, assign new material. And there is a shader in our Arnold, which we call it a AI shadow mat. So I'm going to apply it. Now I'm going to my camera first and probably in rendering tab. And if I'm going to render now, you can easily see my that gray ground is not coming. Only I'm getting my object and shadow. Probably I need to tweak some positions. So I'm going to probably put it here. So it will come something like that. So now I'm happy with my position. So after doing that, what we can do, we need to apply 
textures on it right again i am not going to show this technique for each and every element element will be more but technique will be the same i am going to import each and every element i am going to position it and i am going to texture it right and i am going to right click assign new material and in shader ai shader i am going to use ai standard surface and i am going to name it ai box texture something like that i'm going to type it and again i'm going to hyper shade let me figure it out where it is so i'm going to select this and i'm going to click this button now one by one i'm going to import my textures which i am having when i downloaded my asset from bridge so let me import it one by one so i'm first thing first i'm going to import my albedo pass right so this is my albedo pass or which we can say a base texture so directly you can connect your out color to base color right and if i'm going to render it one more time you can easily see now my texture is coming but it's not the way we want again light is pretty dull so i what i can do before hitting to texture i'm going to select my light and probably i am going to uh, set exposure to 7 or 8 this is okay for now if i'll be needing then again i'm going to tweak my lights as well for now this is okay as i can see my textures so apart from my albedo i have multiple textures as well as in i am having my cavity map so basically cavity map is nothing basically is a map which determines the contact occlusion kind of stuff right so you can see easily over here here i am having my cavity map so how we can use cavity map you need to add a node called ai multiply so i'm going to take ai multiply and in multiply out color this out color and probably i'm going to do this if you want you can do some color correction color grading as well but for now i'm not going to do that right after this i'm going to add my a uh, bump map so i'm going over here i'm going to import my bump map and to use my bump map i can directly use a uh, bump map in normal but i'm going to do one thing i'm going to select this and probably i'll do few changes like i can go over here and probably i can use a uh, raw and one more thing i want to change alpha is luminance i'm going to take right because it's a gray image and if you want to use any kind of gray image use at its full potential right after that i'm going to use a uh, ai bump probably ai bump 2d and i'm going to connect it might be not color so probably any any one channel i can connect to it and probably i'm going to connect my this thing with my bump or normal right so you can use either way so if you have any other technique you can use it so i'm using this way probably i'm wrong but if you need if you know any other techniques please comment down below so after bump map i'm going to use my probably roughness so i'm going over here i'm going to import my roughness and same way since roughness is a gray image i'm going to use it in a raw probably i'm going to raw and i'll do alpha is luminance and after that probably i can use roughness in two uh, places like one would be my probably diffuse roughness and another one will be probably i'll use as a specular roughness or might be directly i can use it in specular curl but i am not going to use it so after doing that I, again i'm going to use my uh, glossiness so i'm going to import my glossiness and directly since it's a, a black and white image again you need to do same thing it should be raw and alpha is luminance and again i'm going to use this data for my metalness so where is my metalness probably i'll use metalness over here the so same way you can import and you can uh, connect your assets so once this is done i'm going to probably I'll, I'll switch on my light this thing and probably i'm going to my rendering tab and i'm going to hit render now you can see we are having something probably I, i'm going to tweak few settings probably i can lower down my lights let me select and probably i'll use uh, six or seven so something like that so as you can see easily i'm having my uh, glossiness i'm having my probably I'll, I'll work on roughness so i'm not getting my roughness so 
you have an idea you can tweak your settings you can add your textures and you can achieve whatever a uh, result you want so let me import my all assets and i'll come back once this is done okay so i'm done with importing my all assets and connecting my texture as per my requirement so if i'm going to do lighting test just see what I'm getting. So as you can see over here, I'm having my box. I'm having my some more assets. And here I added few more assets as well. So if I want to show you the texture setup for this, this will be pretty simple barrier. And I'm again, I'm going to hit this. So see, this is pretty simple setup. I have used my roughness. So you can see over here, I have used my roughness in diffuse roughness and specular roughness as well. And I have used my specular in specular color. So multiple things I have done a uh, normal to normal. And again, I have used my cavity and alvedo in multiply mode and I have used it in base color. So probably more or less, this will be my uh, texture setup. I don't need to tweak lighting more because I think this lighting will work for me since it's a overcast images. So for lighting, what I have done, as I shown you, I have used one HDRI lighting and intensity is two, right? And again, I have used one single area light. So my lighting setup is pretty simple, nothing fancy. But if you can see over here, I'm having a good result. So I don't need to do anything fancy with lighting and texturing because I think I'm pretty much okay with my texturing and lighting setup and positioning of my all elements. So in next video, we are going to see rendering and compositing. So I hope this video is pretty clear to you how you can, can download your 3D elements from Bridge and you can import it in Maya. So hope this video will help you to understand the basic of texturing and lighting in Maya. Not fancy, but basic. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is WFX5 signing off. Have a good day.